Look at this wounded soldier. Show us your broken wing, mate. Yeah. Oh, will you be okay? Not sure. Will you live? I really don't know. I'm numbed up at the moment. <laughs> Yesterday I had a day off exercise and it ended horribly with me just wanting nothing but pizza for dinner. So today, first thing, I got straight back into working out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you guys my workouts that I do each day just to keep me accountable as well. So what I did this morning was this workout right here. I did a super set with barbell bench press and inclines. And then I moved on and did some flies. Then I did one more super set with some bicep curls and some hammers. But they're pretty self-explanatory so I didn't bother filming any of that. I still have no car at the moment, which is starting to become a bit of a drag and a bit of a hassle. But you know, we just got to deal with it. Can't beat myself up about that. So just for something different today, I'm, I'm doing my emails in the gym and I'm going to send them out this morning. Got to dedicate about maybe half an hour to that. A couple of important emails I need to send. If you watch the last vlog, there was an F up with my microphone and I apologize for that. Hopefully it's fixed. But what it really did was it demotivated me to, to vlog all day. And I know it's a, a really crappy and lame excuse. So yesterday I just ended up with crap footage and so what I did was I just brushed the whole day and now we're here starting again from scratch. I don't mind fresh starts. You know there's an old proverb that says don't let the sun go down while you're still angry and I think the same in this situation. Not that I'm angry, I'm just not going to beat myself up about it. I've completely brushed yesterday's vlog and I'm just starting again because there is a particular structure I want to build in to what I'm doing anyway. I'm getting there slowly so bear with me. But yeah I'm going to get to these emails right now and then Hopefully grab a bite to eat because I'm starving. <laughs> um, even though you'd think I'd be full from the pizza. So back to work. Righty, so I've just finished my emails and it took so much longer than I expected. And it's been like an hour, hour and a half. In a shocking turn of events, my car is finally ready. So I'm gonna just pack up here, skateboard home, and then hopefully go pick that up soon. But I just thought I'd share with you because you might not be able to tell, but my excitement, I. I'm ecstatic right now. I get to finally see my baby. Ah, uh, the old cliche must be true. You don't know what you have until it's gone. Like dead set, I'm so happy to be back in my car right now. Hey baby! Look who it is! Oh, Turby. What do you got for me? Look at this! <laughs> Fitness trainer, and she's bringing me caramel slice, what is it? Cherry ripe. Cherry ripe slice. Yo, so the afternoon PT is pumping as usual. No, really good stuff. Had some great conversations with my clients and to be honest, that's one of the best things about interacting with so many people every day is just, you know, hearing from them. How they're going with their goals, what's working, what's not working. But um, yeah, we're gonna do groups soon. I've just gotta quickly duck out and grab some water because we're out of that. But yeah, like I said, it really is good. I don't know if anyone follows Humans of New York, but that's one thing Brandon Stanton said that actually got him to start Humans of New York is that he was originally just gonna take pictures of 10,000 people, but he realized the interactions were the, the most important thing and probably the things that were even more rare than the pictures themselves and they were timeless so that's what really made Humans of New York which has gone on now you know 17 million likes on Facebook and 20 million followers in total I think or something so yeah just let us share a little thought of the day with you What's going on here? Getting the camera out for this one. What's happening in here? Nothing. What's happening? Everything. You look like a frog in this. 
Ja, det finner vi også. Hva er det som er yellow i her? Det er en sikker resipi. Det ser ut som det er god mat i dag. Alle prøver å løse vekt. Dette er ikke hvordan man gjør det. Hva er det du har gjort i dag? Det er ikke hvordan man gjør det. Hvordan gjør det? Det er hvordan man gjør det. Jeg vet ikke om jeg har gjort det. Jeg er veldig glad av deg. Thumbs up. Dette er en stor deal, guys. Muff og Bailey har kokt tape opp. I'm excited. All right, so after fiddling around, I just figured out what was wrong with my camera. My my white balance was set on daylight, and I was trying to film at night time. If you didn't notice, that last seemed really, really like yellowy, odd colored. That's why. With this camera, especially, I just chuck it on auto and shoot. You know, the Sony's pretty damn good at it, at finding what's up. But you know. I just realized you have built-in settings like the ND filter sometimes I leave that on so you can switch it to auto but I don't really like that just switching over on and off whenever it wants to but so that last scene looked really weird that's why I apologize guys oh there we go we can see you properly now baby okay. hi well I'm still gonna put the other footage in but I just want to give you your food actual proper credit oh, okay. that's what actually what it looks like much too much Practice makes perfect. Too much curry powder. Like I said, everyone at home, this is a big deal. Muffin, cooking, cooking, muffin. Once in a while, I hate it. Thumbs up. Never doing it again. Never doing it again. Fine, you're wrong with it. Love you. Okay. Remember, guys at home, even if it tastes horrible, just say it's really nice. Nice, it is actually. Yeah.